we're gonna we're kind of talking about all the all the different topics that we could do and and it just made sense the last what month and a half we've been releasing some pretty cool features and we've had a lot of questions on that through our faqs and and a lot of uh, people are asking us through our um intercom and our chat support so it just makes sense that we go over a little bit um maybe touch base on our previous features of 2.0 really quick and we're going to get into our, our newest features for uh, drill drawing so uh let's yeah, and, and, uh, you know i was gonna say mike too it. i was gonna say mike too it, it's a really it's a really great uh resource like for me too that you when you can go back and review these because there's a lot of information that you just don't you know you just don't get off of like you know if you go when you go and you ask a question or you're going to coach them and you look at like how the new feature is designed i think what these do for me personally is i can take this and i can send this to the coaches that i want to help me and say, listen, this, this is just go for the one feature here because this is really fun for you to learn how to use this so that we can kind of collaborate more. Because the more they, you know, you like any coach, right, the more you feel comfortable using the system, the more apt you are going to be to to collaborate with the rest of the staff. Yeah, it's all, all about using it several different times. It's not like you could, uh, even on the ice, you teach a kid one thing. I'm going to say you have to, it's all about repetition to really understand it. So let's go into we're going to we're going to do the intro um, and, and, and we really haven't touched exactly why coach them was built and basically the, who we are. So so we're going to go into that. We're going to basically talk about throughout the whole thing, uh, simplicity, um, uh, the steps in order to make your coaching experience better. And, and I'm telling you by. Uh, allow uh, creating amazing features to simplify and to streamline the process of that very difficult task of drawing drills is it, it really does speed things up and then new features um i i, I want to touch base on all our previous new features here and it's uh we we have some rock star features so so let's go into it so obviously in the beginning there was uh, a Mike Weaver and a Rob Tallis. And I, Chris, I went to Michigan State and from a Michigan State, I ended up, I ended up going into um, uh, telecommunication. I got a minor in virtual reality, software development, web design. And from there, I ended up creating, well, I ended up turning pro and I was, instead of, me going and losing money at the card table uh, on the plane flights, I was I was designing websites for local businesses. And I when I started my hockey school, I found it very tedious to go and basically recreate a practice plan all the time with my hockey school. So I ended up creating, I ended up saying there's got to be a better way. So then I ended up going to, I ended up going to the Florida Panthers and from there rob tallis ended up saying uh we're in the nhl and we are still going and redrawing drills over and over again and as you know benelli with the nhl ca as we're going to be releasing something the next little bit for all the people to give an opportunity for everybody within coach them to go and to go and um uh, get an opportunity to attend, whether it be in person, right in Montreal, my old uh, stomping grounds in Montreal, or going online. Um, we're going to give them an opportunity to get on there. But um, uh, we are designing 130 drills for all uh, of the NHL teams. You know how many coaches, and I'm not going to name the teams, you know how many coaches are sending us they're literally drawing it on a dry erase board and taking a picture and sending it to us. They yeah. have, I had to get on with our drill admins for about maybe 45 minutes to an hour going over two drills, two drills, trying to figure out what it's going on. It's like, it's like you, you have to be a doctor to read some of these, co the, these, these things. It's, it's like cryptic. So anyways, 
that's why we basically created coach them. Um, I looked at what was out there and I ended up creating it. So in the last little bit, we've been reflecting on who we are as a company and our mission statement um, is basically to empower sports through technology by inspiring creation, driving collaboration, evolving the next coach. And that's our whole thing here is to go and take, take coaches to the next level. And, and to be honest, the, the coaches that are on this, um, webinar, I'm going to tell you are probably not the coaches that should be on this webinar. Um, obviously these coaches here are going to be forward thinking coaches. Um, but this is why we are, we are trying to go in. We're, we're trying to inspire creation. We don't want coaches to go and use the same drill over and over again. Sure. It's great, but we wanted to evolve it. And so our co co our company values, we want to innovate. We want, uh, with simplicity and we want the commit, uh, commitment to customers. So our coaches, so I'm telling you guys, every single, uh, feature that you guys are suggesting, we are taking everything in. So on this chat, if you guys want to go and mention any features, uh, I'm going to say 80% of them that you're going to mention, we have, um, we're working on it right now. And obviously teamwork, teamwork is absolutely huge for us. Um, we like to call all our employees teammates and it's, it's basically, that's exactly what we are. We have to work together and that's, I, really what the, what the game of hockey teaches us, uh, to go and to go and work, work together with other people from other backgrounds and, uh, to collaborate. And, and that's, that's why I, I love, I wake up every day, um, loving what I'm doing and obviously discipline, um, discipline in, um, what you're teaching discipline on, um, every single time instead of going and showing up to practice with a, an idea in your head uh, to basically what Benelli does, um, a lot of uh, what Benelli does, it's all about planning. It's all about really going and planning out the practice plan and allowing your assistant coaches to do the work for you instead of you going and trying to control everything. Well, um, well Mike, can I chime in there real quick? Just go back to that yeah, screen because I, sure. I think this is, I, I, cause I think this is mirrors why as a coach you join coach them you want to be innovative you want a mm -hmm. simple system to to share your drills our commitment as coaches is to our players and you know our, they're our customers and i think by using uh an innovative simple program with you the the core value of discipline i see discipline as a coach as i'm on time i have a practice plan I know what my team needs. I listen to my players. I listen to my assistant coaches. And, and so I think that your company values, I mean, obviously you're an athlete, so you're, and you're and at the levels you've played, your company values really do mirror what all of our coaching values should be in, in how we're using the system. So I think it's, you know, I think it's any of us, you know, if you're coaching, you most likely played a sport, you know, for most of us. And I think that's where, you know, using coach then becomes so important because it, it allows you to do all these other cool things that you want to do as a coach and, and take all of the guesswork out of your day-to-day -day operation. So I, I just want to, you know, I just, I thought that was a great uh, snapshot there of, you know, how we look at, look at it as coaches as well. Well, for sure. And, and we listen, like I said, guys, we listen to every one of you all the time. We take down every little thing. Uh, I, I'm going to say most companies kind of, don't really listen a whole lot, but I'm going to tell you, we will we listen uh, completely. Well, I think it's everything. good too, Mike, that you push back as well. Like you say, well, you real like, tell me why you want that. Like, okay, that's great. That's a great feature that you need. Right. And because I, I mean, I probably said you, I said features all the time, like, oh, I love that. Or you see Anna on the, uh, you know, on the chat, you're like, Hey, can you, can you do this yet? Or what, when's this coming? Or can we do this? Because sometimes, you know, stream of consciousness as a coach and you're drawing your drills out. You're like, wow, I wish I had that. This would be cool. And then, and then I think what you do and the company does, which is, I think is great is then you'll go, okay, well, tell me why it's needed. How often do you use it? And then where does it fit into like the menu of things that, that, that are there without clogging everything up. And I think so 
the way it's the, and, you, and you'll go into this, but the way that the program's designed right now and set up is it's really become mm -hmm. so streamlined that it's not clock. It's not, you know, clunky. It's, it's getting actually smoother and smoother. Yeah. Um, okay. I'm just going to post something. I'm going to say, what, what is the most important feature you, you would love uh, to have on, uh, in, on coach them? Um, because I'm going to tell you what, what, what would you think the number? Well, yes and no. I, I'm going to say, what do you think a lot of people when they go on to other platforms and they see, you know, Hey, you know what? There is a platform that has 3d animation, but Benelli, you have been on that platform. I'm not going to mention names, but you have been on that platform. How tough is it to go and draw a drill on that thing? Yeah, I, listen, I'll just say that when when the reason coach then became so attractive to me is because of its simplicity and ease, because I because at the end of the day, you have to be fast, you have to be able to go in, we don't have, you know, it's funny, I was I was listening to a podcast the other day about, you know, how coaches set things up and, and laying out their practice plan do it. But nobody has time for this. The people that I work with every day, the coaches that I work with, are moms and dads, and, and, and part-time coaches that need the ease and simplicity of coming up. Now, it's great to have all that other stuff. It is. It, but, but this system is made, I, and I use this for lacrosse every day as well, you know, the, the, the coach them platform, because my job is to make my hour that I have for my kids the most efficient possible. I don't have time for four hours of learning how to make sure the timing is working in a drill. I know what's in my head. I know it has to go on paper and I know it has to be shared. And at the end of the day, that's what this, this platform does oh, yeah. and, and, and superbly. Yeah. Um, and then our vision statement is basically to create a platform that simplifies and educates the youth coach all the way to the professional level. So I think it um, uh, really does that. Um, so I'm going to go through a couple um, really quick uh, things and I'm going to jump on to my um my um coach them platform i just want to go in and and show how to do this so obviously everybody knows uh edit anchors uh add and delete anchor points um so i'm just going to jump really quick over to there um i'm going to go to share um window okay so obviously everybody knows the simple uh little thing you go and draw a line. Um, we have it that if you draw a line, it's pretty straight. It will go and only won't put any anchors. Obviously, adding, uh, you're able to drag it. Double uh, clicking, you're able to erase it. You're able to add multiple anchors. That is that is the 2.0. We we basically tore the whole entire sketch pad apart and redid everything. So that is, um, it's, it's pretty uh, amazing. And I'll get into the straight line feature that really makes things rock star, but, but adding and deleting anchors is, is pretty, is pretty, um, pretty simple. Would you say, Benelli? Yeah, and I think on that, on that piece, what you're talking about there is like, that's a lot of us that use like deviators and, and use like stick handling drills the ice or full ice drills where we're going through a bunch of pylons and things like that. That's what's so cool about that anchor point feature is that you just draw your straight line. You know, you want to start here and end here. You know that. Yeah. So between yeah. there and there, instead of like what I was doing before is you draw a C, then you draw another C, then you, then this one doesn't look that great. And then this is a different size. Mm -hmm. And then this is a, you know, this one's not the same angle. This way you just draw your line, you add your anchor points, and then you put your deviators or your cones in to those anchor points, right? So it just, right. it, and I know it sounds like a, it probably sounds crazy, but it's, it's such a simple thing that helps you like with time, boom, you draw the line, you draw your anchor points, your drill's done. Yeah, no, exactly. Um, and then getting into uh, the line weights and, um, and selecting. So I'll go and jump it back into this. So line weight and selecting, um, just so everybody knows. So um, with, with, with some 
guys that go in and in, in, uh, do different presentations. Um, it's, it's pretty uh, amazing to be able to um, go and do line weight on there, which makes it a little bit more emphasis, emphasis on it, that you're able to have a bigger line. Uh, some coaches have told us that uh, they can't see that well, and they would love to have a, a thicker line also. But it's it's pretty cool to be able to go and um, add add a line weight to a line, so um, it would go and emphasize a little bit more on that. Um, also, um, uh, it was um, the select group. So if if for instance uh i ended up bringing up um if i wanted to go and select if i wanted to go and add uh all this uh let's, let's pick an easier one let's say uh the four dots so if i wanted to go and add change all these blues it used to be used to have to select one and then go and change it to uh orange and then select another one but now what you're able to do is you're able to hold the shift and select each one all these um we also have an option that you're able to go in and select multiple ones and then add additional ones onto there and then you're able to easily go and change the whole entire orange right it it's it sped it up big time for me um and also, once you're in selection, if you notice the selected five objects, if you go and hold the shift and you want to remove one, it will go to four objects. So you know that you've selected it or not. And then also with in selection mode, selecting more than um, um, actually, yeah, you can select one, two, but the the copy, paste, flip horizontal, flip vertical and delete with the quick key commands on there are all, all right there for you. So it really does change the game of, of being able to um, um, be able to select it, be able to, um, oops, uh, being able to drag it around, being able to flip it horizontal by going shift horizontal, shift vertical, flip it around, being able to um, uh, really go in and, and make, it, uh, make it your own. Yeah, I use that feature a lot now, uh, especially when I do like so all these little rookie leagues that I'm doing and when I have like multiple teams out there. So if I have six teams out there and there's six colors, like I got my blue team, my orange team, my red team. When I when I set up my stations, now the next week I'm I'm taking that drill, right? And I'm doing a new a new a new system. I don't have to go and redraw all those kids. Like the, like I, I could just take the orange team and now next week I want the blue team to be in there. So I just highlight those kids. I make them blue and then they know the blue teams in there. So it sounds, you know, again, maybe you don't do that with it, your team so much, but if you're doing group, group, uh, like station-based practices or clinics, or, you know, you're laying out a practice plan for a, a large, um, you know, eight U program that has a lot of, you know, 60, 70 kids on the ice, that mm -hmm. feature really becomes handy because you're before you had to delete the, you know, oh, 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 delete and then add in yellow, yellow, yellow. Now it's just quick, change it. And then I think more importantly, it allows you to stay focused on the, the, the actual task of getting a lesson plan laid out so that you can share it. Yeah. And, and, and I'm not going to go back to the other one. The next one on, on here is getting into scaling, um, which, which is, which is pretty cool. So, um, uh, let's come up with a, a different drill here that, um, okay. So for instance, this one, if I wanted to grab it and I wanted to have both sides going, um, being able to use my quick key commands, if you remember, click on command C, um, and click command V. So I'm going to do command C and command V. Make sure that you go in and click the ones that you're paying attention to the ones that are that were just dropped because if you go in if you go and grab another one you're less like oh no um it it, it really does um go in you're like oh what, what am i going to do don't worry about it click on the undo and if you go into here again well the one cool the stretch feature so i'm going to do the shift h shift b going and switching it down here now, if I wanted this to be um, a full zone, this actually doesn't 
I, I would say if I, if I just wanted to do just on one side, so I can just go, as long as they're selected, I'm able to bring them in. I'm able to stretch them back to here. So it's, it's pretty cool. Now I've done this side and I could go to shift, uh, copy, paste, um, here, just oops. Uh, just wait, my bad. Um, I go to here, I select it. I go to, to um, um, command copy and command paste. I go and bring it over here and I'm gonna go to flip it. Oops, and horizontal. I'm gonna flip it here, I'm gonna bring it. So I basically co copied both of them on, on, on both sides. So that's a cool way to, to be able to do it. If you really wanted to do, I could go and do paste again. And if I wanted to, um, one of the next thing here is the rotate. Once it's selected, uh, this one right up here that you're able to go and rotate, we're able to rotate and we're able to put it in the neutral zone. So it, it does give you a lot of, a lot of um, flexibility in, in being able to move a drill, flipping it horizontal, um, vertical and scaling it. Um, if you wanted to, um, just say, I wanted to delete all of them before you used to have to do one at a time, you would just go select it and I press the delete button. It deletes it. So it really, it really changes the game, um, on anything. And, um, but Benelli, you use this a lot now. You, you wish this was available when you did the St. Louis, uh, um, yeah. Night of scale. when you have all these stations so so and if fellow coaches that go on the ice after you if you're running station-based practices the great feature about this is what i've been doing is taking now those drills and i can flip them and turn them so that i can tell coaches you know halfway through the session you we've got to, the, the stations have to move because if you see when you have like 50 kids on the ice or 40 kids on the ice going through these station-based practices you really rip the ice up pretty good and i think what this allows you to do is easily you know, flip the stations so that like the second time around, the kids are doing the same station, but they're in a different art area of the rink. So you don't get on the rink the, you know, the, the next group doesn't get on. And it's just, uh, you know, there's concrete coming through the floor. You know, it just, it just, it, you know, to me, it's a, it's a lot of courtesy depending on, you know, what kind of organization you're in and, and how many back to back to back sessions you have, especially a station based environment. Uh, do you know what? I've never thought of that before. Um, Oh, it's a killer. I so. If I get on the ice, if I get on the ice after like a St. Louis practice when he was coaching the little kids and now, you know, he's, he's doing the big boys, but I was like, come on, man, <laughs> you're killing me. This ice sucks yeah. because, you know, you yeah. do the same drill in the same place over and over and over again. And and then all of a sudden you, you get out there and the flood doesn't take care of what you need to take care of. But if you're really thinking about the next group, if you're, if you're a hockey director or an organizational director and you're using coach mm -hmm. them, then this feature becomes so great because you can you can halfway through you can say well this is the first half of practice is the second half of practice the same drills we're just flipping them so that we're not killing the ice yeah, and it's really not no fair ice. i mean think about the kid that goes into station six after five other groups have gone through there and they're supposed to go around a certain area of the ice that's just beat to hell there's zero way that kid's going to have success there yeah no i agree i agree <clears throat> um and and this is his uh saint louis skill and um uh, night of skills um and it, it's pretty awesome um being able to uh have every single um um uh skill of a uh, saint louis a part of uh, the practice so remember this is in marketplace and it's free for you guys to use your at your next practice he's teaching um, this to cole caulfield now so i mean he i mean i'll send him the lesson plan yeah <laughs> <laughs> Well, but I mean, well, oh, so, 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 so real quick, Mike, because you're on here. So now what I would do with these new features, if I went back into the, 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 the Marty St. Louis drills, I would then change each station. I would highlight those X's and now I would change them so that each station was a different color. And that's just another level of let of organization. So if you're in a, if you're in a group setting where you're already pre uh, setting up where the kids are going to go, okay. Group mm -hmm. blue is here, red yellow orange and it's just the visual part because people are there's so many coaches out there and kids that are visual right they look and go oh i'm the orange team i go over there to station five or i'm the red team i go over here to station four 
And I think it just makes your organizational piece. And I'm telling you now, if you walk in, if I'm a parent and I walk into my coach's session and this is up on the glass that my kid sees before he gets on the ice and all, again, in this instance, we had six coaches on the ice. If all six coaches can see this, like right in front of their face, to me, that's gold. I mean, that just that just really sets a whole nother message of, of what you're doing as a coach getting on the ice. Well, um, I was just on a call with a massive, massive hockey body that is coming on board. And they were saying uh, one of the big things is, are they able to, are they able to s specify which sections is which coach? And I was thinking, I'm like, yeah, we completely could able to do it. If you click on the coach and you, you put coach one, and you put coach two, you put coach three, you put coach yeah, up to that's coach what I do. six. Yeah. yeah. And then and then what you do is you save it with every one of your plans. All you gotta say to coach one, all coach ones, you know that you know, maybe um um when you go and do the practice plan and you you export it, there's an option that in our settings you're able to go and write a description. You say coach one is Mike, coach two is is Benelli, right? So well, you can even use so, it. You can, I use the feature a lot. The 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 uh, the 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 writing, uh, the typing feature. You can even put that yeah. under Coach One and have name Benelli or Weaver. And you know, and so one thing real quick about this too, about your highlighting, um, yeah. <clears throat> the ability to highlight and cut and paste. So what I, if you have the time and you're a hockey director and you're somebody that's doing this organizationally, you can highlight. Say you go to the upper left hand corner there and you highlight that drill. You can now take that drill and you put that. And you in, you put it into a half ice drill um, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. template, and then that coach gets that drill. Like so, what I do with when I work with the rookie league kids, like the NHL programs, that coach just goes to the corner and is a big eight by eleven, uh, you know, printout of the one drill, not all the drills, because this sometimes this gets overwhelming for people. Like, holy crap! Yeah. Like all this stuff's going on. Well, I'm just giving you the one drill. That's all. I'm showing you how it's laid out here, but the rest of the practice plan is station one station two and it's blown up and i think that's what's great about this feature is right now when you go to a half ice uh you know um template now you need to take that and blow it up and then manipulate it so it's fitting half ice well for sure and this, and the this, whole thing. this yeah for sure and, and and this is actually um a really cool feature that you could go and command copy and you could start a new drill or a practice plan and you're able to go and paste it right on there. You're able to go from different uh, one tab to another tab. And this is what you're talking about, Benelli. You're able to go and put it here. Yeah, and, and then, then that's Benelli. No, no, and then but make it a make it a uh, make the rink a half ice rink. Oh, make the rink a okay, zone. yeah, for sure. You could easily do that. So um, we could do half ice as being here or one zone, and, yeah, or whatever it is. Just, yeah, that's it. Just so go, then you flip it. You just go and rotate. Yeah, and that's how I do it. So now, now that now station one guy or girl, right, whoever that coach is, just gets that, and it's yeah. it's so easy for them to say that's all they have to focus on. That's all you got to know. Mm -hmm. And now this and, it, and it's blown up a little bit more, and it, it just helps me, you know, um, if you and if you have a good manager and you have good people helping you, you know, then you take that drill, it blow you blow it up, you stick it on the glass, and uh, you know every kid that comes by goes. Yeah. Oh, I remember this drill. No problem. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, now getting into kind of uh, the straight line that you were that you were talking about um, uh, before. So it's the straight line drawing. So this is a really really cool feature. I gotta go and get um, for this drill that I was gonna draw. Let's go and just do this. Uh, we're gonna have a net. And we're going to start off with uh, a, a D and then I'm going to use my quick key command and do a Ford. Um, let's go, uh, let's go like this. So on, we're going to have uh, the defenseman with a puck. So he's going to go and skate with the puck. So what we're going to do is we're going to go skate from where you're at to where you're going. Um, actually, this is uh, the thicker line, so we're going to go like this, and we're going to go and use the blue, and we're going to just go and 
position it like that. So then we're going to go to skate down. We're going to post up. So that forward is going to go to where, where you are, to where you're going. I don't know why it keeps on defaulting at that. Um, then from there, we are going to pass it. Oops. We're going to go and yeah, pass it. Yeah, I love it. that. So, so to me, like that, the thought process when you're going, that I like that. That's I try to teach our coaches that know where you're starting, know where you're going, and then you can you can use the system to find the and it's funny because as you're drawing it and you and you get the straight line, you say, oh, you're looking at it going. Well, what is the best route here? And then what's what do I want to teach? It actually helps you reinforce why you're teaching the route you're teaching. Yeah. Yeah. And then again, we're going to go skate with a puck. So where I'm at to where I'm going. So I want to curl outside the zone. So I'm going to click on this and we are going to come in and come back. Now that defenseman. Now, do you know what? Halfway through, I'm like, you know what? I want to make that forward red so i'm just going to go and use this uh the selection tool and i'm just going to select it or even if you were in the line function you're able to go and select one and you're able to click the selection um you're able to hold shift and select the next one it puts you into the selection mode and then from there you're able to i gotta put i only have two objects i'm gonna do three and then turns it to red yeah, and, and that's and that's that guy's root which is great i use this all the time they, like that visual is really really helps especially when you get these drills that are pretty you know they look a little complex for most kids right so it's yeah. really visual it's great to say just don't worry about anybody else you worry about the red guy that's all you got to yeah. worry about so so now this defenseman you want to go where you're at to where you're going so now with our, with another one of our features, we ended up doing the, um, uh, it's kind of like this little sticky, this little sticky when you go at 45 degree angles. So you're able to get that perfect horizontal line or you're able to get that perfect vertical line. So, um, and at 45 degree angles, that's a little stickiness there. So one thing that you're able to do is you're able to hit the control button and it removes that. If you go and hit the hold the shift button, it jumps around. So it jumps to that 45 degree angles. So right now I'm going to hold the control because I kind of wanted to get complete control of it. So I'm going to go where I'm at to where I'm going. And I go and do a little option. And to be honest, sometimes I sometimes I, I'll, I'll go and throw in the pivots and sometimes I'll just go and have no arrowhead. So then I'm going to go and unclick it. And then I'm going to transition backwards skating. And we're not even like, if you notice, we're not even touching the selection tool. We're completely staying away from that, which is kind of cool. So I basically created a very quick little drill there um, with little time. And the reason why I did it this way is because I hated everything out there. So that was a very, very simple drill. Um, and then you're able to go and add obviously pox and everything like that to it. So that is um, a very, very um, effective uh, way of doing it. And uh, do you have anything else to say about that? No, I think it's like I said, it, it makes it, it, it seems like a simple thing, but the efficiency of, of drawing this out and then be able to select the different areas you want and then even change colors to a point where if you say if you selected it all and then you want a different group, you could change the colors. You could put the coach somewhere else. Now, and me, like what I do, and I, I think I, I this is one thing I would say to all coaches, and, and it maybe it takes one second to do it, is I would always place where you want your coach in these station-based drills. Like mm -hmm. so many guys, you see those standing on the side of the net, and, you know, these kids are ripping pucks, and they just don't understand. You know, just yeah. – it, it especially when you have new coaches out there show them where you want them to stand i know it sounds like oh so who cares it does it, it really does matter but show them where you want them to be to, to so so they can even visualize oh yeah i, I gotta remember I'm, I'm i'm here to protect myself but also i can see the you know i can see the drill evolve i think that's important just to you know because you talked about you know where are you going to put the pucks where are you going to put cones what other instruments are on the ice 
where's your coach going to stand? Um, yeah, be aware of those kind of things. Yeah. Um, so I kind of wanted to get into our 2.1 features. So one of the first ones that we did, visual icon placement. Our coaches wanted to have an easier way to go and visually set up their icons so they're aligned uh that they're that, that they're not guessing because before i don't know if you remember because i always i'm always like oh my god how did i live without this feature uh before it used to be a little icon that was there um it wasn't an icon it was uh just the uh, the the arrowhead of the mouse so yeah. now we have an option now of um and one thing that's pretty cool that we that we have here um, that you're able to jump from this. I have everything here, but I'm able to jump right back to my main rank, and it still carries it along with you. So one of the cool things now is when you have an icon now, you could visually see where everything is, which is which is really cool. Uh, you could align it and just take an extra second to make sure it's absolutely perfect. So that is uh, the visual icon placement. Um, uh, a couple other options. Uh, once you place the net on here, being able to drag it without having to go to your selection tool, you just grab, put a mouse over this net and drag it right in there. It snaps into place. You wanna go and drag it down to the other side. It snaps into place also. So that is a really cool feature that really helps out if you click on it and you want to click on it again you're able to rotate it whatever which way you want it uh it uses the same uh line uh, as line features for um rotation so it has that little stickiness at, at 45 degree angles and it jumps uh, if you hold this the shift command so that's uh, a really cool feature uh as well um, obviously, Benelli, you like your drills to be absolutely perfect. Yeah, I'm, I'm not. I'm, I, I will self self admit that I'm not the cleanest drawer on the in the planet, I, and you've you, you've you've uh, helped me come a long way on that. But I think, but the, the nice thing about this the snapping, uh, I don't even know what the what the technical term is, but the. the yeah, but Sticky. the reason you're able to do, yeah, it, the, when you're drawing your, your lines and moving them, they're so clean. Like when you're trying to do this by hand, that's why I love the where you are and where you're going feature with the with the points is because it's in, it, it's hard to draw. And I use a, a Surface Pro, so I use my pen usually. And it's it's it, it, my lines look like, like, I don't know what the hell they look like, you know, like a, like a, like a three-year-old drawing them. So it's it's really nice to be able to really have that good flow and visual look. Of, of how you want it so yeah I, I love that feature especially for a guy like me that if i was drawing that on a on a like a like a piece of paper it would look terrible mm -hmm. well th then then you have um the bump back uh pass um i don't know if a lot of people refer to it as that um what what would another option be that for um people what would they um yeah, it's just give and go, or you know, if they're, if they're if they're if they're using if they're using just the uh, you know the catch you know you know catch and give and and just just the I that, that really that visual of knowing like before you're drawing a line and then you're drawing another line then you're trying to make sure they're equal and then you're trying to make sure that they they're leveled up like this feature is great because you just you're you're like if it's a little bump pass or it's a little like it's it's great on the on the power play type stuff too when you're doing like systems that your that that features already exist there where you've got the arrowhead on both ends um you know so that you could then create that one seamless drill draw as opposed to doing one and then trying to make sure like me like i want to make the other one the same length or you know it's crazy there it's going to the same place at the end of the day yeah and and that's that's why i i, I looked at this and i'm like i don't like having two lines because that's what a bump pass is um we used to do also that you would uh you would make it halfway and then you put this one like this and then you would connect both lines we also did um also um going like this and you would almost have a little arrowhead that you would put here we'll make that um black and then you would almost move it like this 
So yeah. that's why I was just like, okay, this is crazy. We got to do this better. So being able to have it that you have your, your front point and then you have your back point that you're able to um, go and draw it. Actually, it would be the other way. So because the pass is going to be here. So now you're able to go and draw it. And it's, it's really cool that now it does one line and, it, and especially when you have uh, smaller drills that there's, there's multiple things going on able to, to, um, to remove as many lines as possible and getting your point across is, is it make things so much easier. Yeah, and you could use the colors too. As this is the, the this is the passer, this is the giver, you know, and, and that just helps you too. If you're doing your legend, you know, if you're making when you're doing your um, descriptions, like that's even important that you can draw, you can use that icon as your in your descriptions as well, and then de designate, you know, okay, the the red the red line is always going to be the passer, and the black lines the the the, the taker um, or the receiver, and I think that helps too, and just determining as you're setting drills up that are getting maybe especially with older kids that, you know, maybe you're going to look at that and say, Oh, am I the, is this, the, is this the passing line or the receiving line? Yeah. Uh, and, and I like to, I like to take it a step further and, and basically, um, um, do it that it, it's, it's whoever passes the icon would be, would be that color. So if, if that D is passing it to that D, well, that green would be the, the, the passing, uh, would be this, this one, it wouldn't be the other one here. Right. So right. That, that's the way that I kind of look. So when, when you're doing drills, if you're able to color coordinate your passing, it makes things a lot easier for your coaches to understand, oh, that green pass is coming. Yes. Yeah, it's coming from that green D. So that would be one thing, uh, to, um, focus on. Um, yeah, it seems like such a little thing, but when you're trying, when you're trying to set up drills between drills and if you have a really good assistant coaching staff, that means the world, like be able to look at that real quick and be like, oh yeah, that makes sense. Green guy here, red guy here, green guys passing this way, red guys passing this way. Great. It, it totally, I, I'm, I'm going to tell you, I wish I could say a few of the NHL teams that sent us drills, uh, like honestly, Benelli, it is, it is nuts. Um, Okay. Yeah, so the and, line... and, and their def and their defense too, right? A lot of those NHL teams are doing the same practices over and over and over again, and they're, they're not really like at this point in the season, you're not instant, you're not throwing in new drills. But I think for us, like, and th this is timely. When, you know, no matter when anybody watches this, but if this is like a postseason watch here, and you're getting ready for spring, like where uh, spring and summer training, you're really going to be doing a lot of stuff you can't do during the season. So a lot, this is really going to come in handy knowing how you could be efficient and ultimately progress in all these drills and be able to go and, and without redrawing them, reconfiguring them, refiguring them out, it, there's going to be a lot of, uh, you know, efficiency and cutting and pasting and changing colors and, and moving along, especially this time mm -hmm. of the season. And, and you should have more time. I mean, this is the time, hopefully, you know, you're not in the rink seven days a week. Yeah, for sure. And then we, we also have line snapping, which we've already gone over. Um, and previous state, I don't know if you, uh, recognize this Benelli. So now when you go in, we've had a lot of, uh, our coaches uh, say that they would love to have previous states, uh, on there. So if I go back here and I go back here again, it goes and keeps that it used to default at the black and it defaulted as this having no arrowhead. So if I ended up going to that D, if you noticed, I, I, it's the green D that I, that I left it. So, um, it, it, if, if a coach likes uh, thicker lines, he's able to do that. So, so we've, we've created, um, the previous state that it, that it maintains it. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> no, I mean, those are things like, those are things like really when you start getting like when you're, when you're quick, when you're, when you're really trying to, if you're, if you're like a hockey director and you're setting up multiple lesson plans, these features are phenomenal. If you're a, you know, an individual 10 U coach and you have a lot of time and you don't want to get into that much detail, maybe it's not that big a deal. But I think if you're a, if you're somebody that's 
building like like the organizations you work with you know these guys are and girls are building you know many 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 lesson plans they're sitting down and and building lesson plans for you know 30 40 teams so i think yeah. it really becomes uh, much much more important to be efficient in how you do that and have the different yeah, options sure. to, to edit and, and change well it, it i noticed it too when i was the, the couple drills that i do every so often um i needed it, it, it was annoying that i every single time it defaulted back to the black and in, in in the uh, uh with all my icons so it did it did help out um well i'm gonna say one of our biggest uh, game changers is uh our drag line and uh i'll go into it really quick so our drag a drag line is um our drag line so previously when you would go and get the the defenseman which i like uh, my defenseman is usually black so come here it used to you had to go and get things perfect now with this now you're able to just go and draw it right you drag it and it aligns it so if i have my forwards over here i'm gonna drag it and it's gonna go and put multiple ones if i wanted to do five now it that changes the whole entire like if i wanted my my forwards in the middle okay i got for them there and I wanted to do um, you know uh, blue ones here so basically I've just gone and made my it's so easy to go and align them now um, also if we wanted to set up three pylons equally spaced down the side now if we wanted to go like this okay now if you hold on the control now it's only going to maintain those three pylons all the way down so you're able to equally space them down here which is really really cool uh benelli i know you i know you love those those bumpers and he, benelli all the time used to be like uh yes um i hate having to go and realign these and make it perfect oh and my god you got these little bumpers you got to keep because i use a lot of bumpers on the ice i need a lot of protection out there <laughs> uh, so now you just drag it and we have it rock star that we that we've done it in here now one really cool feature it uses the same um features the 45 degree degree angle um uh stickies uh, sticky uh, points, uh, but we also have the shift that jumps to it. But also, if you tap on the H, it goes and you're able to to equally align it here. And then, if you wanted to touch on the H, uh, tap on the H again, it does it vertically. So obviously, you know, you might not ever use this, but I think it's a pretty cool way that if you wanted to go and have your um, your one player going down the line, skating with a puck, uh, where I'm at to where I'm going, and I click on it, then I'm able to go and go and start creating. Oops, start creating my. Oops. Oops. Yeah, this is exactly what I was saying. Now, now you have your anchor points there. And then you're able to go and start going and create and then read around here. Um, and there is other options uh, for this using this, the, the free line too, which is, which is really cool. But it's, it's a pretty cool option to be able to just draw it right around and uh, make it, make it pretty simple. So. Yeah. And to me, like that just looks cleaner. Like if I, if you tried like if you do that by hand, each, each cut, then you gotta, you gotta, you know, then you gotta draw it and then space and draw and space. It's just a lot. It, I know it's probably sounds crazy, but it's just a lot more work. Well, like I'm going to say we do, we do a pretty good job of this, but it's harder, but you're good. You're good at it yeah well it does leave a lot of anchors that um in order to clean it up you would have to but it, it looks pretty good 
like obviously this is this is uh um obviously with uh skating which it, it hides the inconsistencies in the straight line in the skating yeah. line but it's pretty good um and basically uh that is um that is basically it right now um i know we we have some epic things coming oh benelli maybe i'll give you a little uh if you stay on if you stay on after here i'll go and give you a little sneak peek of our <laughs> of our next feature so let's do it it's pretty cool but i'm gonna tell you guys uh obviously we've gone uh 54 minutes and i thank you guys for uh staying on but i'm telling you guys i i actually upped it a little bit so the c series 20 if you go and if you go and sign sign up uh and you go to pro and you go use c series 20 and it's for first time subscribers you get a 20 percent discount we used to do 10 percent and i just want to make sure that everybody on this call you guys are really wanting to uh be forward thinkers here and i thank you so much follow mike benelli at mike uh at mike benelli um on instagram and i'm gonna tell you guys go and book this guy i'm gonna like he's uh he's epic uh in the uh, hockey community um right now for some reason on on there it's not working so uh, if anybody is interested notify us on uh our little chat uh, at the bottom right, and we will get you the link to Benelli's um, uh, calendar uh, booking. So he's, um, trust me, go and utilize him for $100. I'm gonna tell you, you probably spend about $200 or 250 for a private lesson, and this guy could do a couple different practices in, in, in probably about an hour. So yeah, thanks, Mike. And I think I think the most people I've been getting now uh, are not even the coaches that are on these calls. It's there. It's the people that they want. Like you just said at the beginning, it's the people they want on these calls and, and the coaches that are really hesitant of like, I can't do this. Like, this is hard. Like, like, oh, I don't have time or I, I, I don't feel comfortable doing or I don't even know where to start or how do I work with my 8U team? I've never coached before that really, you know, in one hour we can do so much um, in easing uh, the, uh, the pain of anybody feeling they can't jump into something like this. I think it's definitely worth it. It'd be, you know, it's a good gift to give to those coaches. You want to get, get, get more involved that are really hesitant of not getting involved. Yeah. And, and how about this, Benelli? you know, how many times it happened last year, maybe probably about 10 times last year on a uh, private ice. So th there's, there's, there's not a private ice through a, a practice. So I was invited to a practice to work with the defenseman. So they had my fee on there to work with the, with six defensemen, but they also had another private instructor working with the forwards. So right there, that price tag is about five hundred dollars, and then you got the price price of ice in in Toronto, which is yeah. probably for an hour and a half, probably be about oh my god, like four hundred dollars, um, getting up to four fifty uh depending on what rink you're at like that's like a thousand dollars twelve hundred dollars and and one thing with benelli he's able to share it right on coach them if you guys are right on there and you have it for life you can go and use that practice plan over and over again and it pays for itself so yeah um, and imagine going imagine going to that practice and there's no plan well that imagine the money on the ice right and there's no plan like you're like hey mike what do you sure. want to work on today i don't know what do you want me to work on today it's like oh my god i'm like i'm like just take my money now i guess but no it just be efficient you know uh, be prepared and and just have the confidence and the biggest thing is use the system because like even my relationship with you watching you do your things i'm learning so much like oh, wow i didn't realize i could do that that's much easier to do and i'm going to practice that because right. then when i'm doing my drills it just becomes natural for sure. And then, and then Terry ended up saying, really love this program. Thank you. Uh, I would love the ability to create folders and organize my drills and folders instead of using tags. So the reason why we end up doing, um, defaulted, um, tags is because to be honest, a lot of people label things very similar. So could they go, they go one versus one and they go and another person does one on one. 
Uh, somebody does one verse one without spaces. Some people do one verse one with spaces. Some people go in one V one. So if you have all these different tags and you're sharing to other people, it's very, very difficult. But I'm going to tell you that we are looking into that. And I'm hoping that will be something that will uh, be coming in. Give us a little bit of time for that one because, but it is something that we're, we're, we're thinking about coming. Um, and we do have a really cool archiving that's going to be coming up here. Cause I know a lot of our coaches that have been with us for a couple of years have a lot of uh, plans that are just, um, kind of almost a little bit too much. So we will be having that. So I'm not going to give away too much. We have some really cool features coming and we want to be, uh, the best platform out there guys and and obviously terry thank you so much and you know what i'm going to take note of this because the more people that suggest uh different features the more that we're going to look into that more because we are uh, a platform that is uh driven by by coaches it was built by coaches for coaches so uh thank you so much uh do you have anything else to say benelli no i mean just keep uh this is a great time of year to uh go out there try new things with the coach them app and really go in and 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 go to inst go to your instagram page and look i mean the, the amount of drills that are there and to get ideas especially in spring and summer training there's so much if you have your kids that are going to private lessons or you want um you know you want to give any of your any of your players you know a little bit like hey you know what i really think you should work on and here are like seven drills i found on coach them that you should tell your private instructor to do with you the drills on there are unbelievable and the fact that you have videos attached to them really make them more powerful too. So I would definitely go to that, that the coach them uh, Instagram site. And because I, I, I believe this is true, right? That every drill you see on there is in, is on coach them. Yeah. And, and, and um, <clears throat> one thing, one actually little thing, I'm going to kind of do a little plug for Benelli. So Benelli, you've been working with a few different associations, correct? Yeah, many. Yeah. 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 So you work with a bunch of associations and one of uh, there's been a couple that you've actually been um, you're basically working um, as basically uh, uh, for hire um, more or less um, virtual. Um, would you say virtual uh, vir virtual? Yeah, so I'm like a, I'm like a supplemental hockey director. So you know, I, yeah. I, I'm able to come in, and even if you have a hockey director, like most of us, like even me when I was hiring guys and uh, hockey directors and stuff, I was always hiring young kids and that really don't have the you know they played and they don't really know you know how to navigate the the, the world of you know being efficient and, and running their programming better. And then I come in at a, you know I, I think a really reasonable fee. And with a menu of okay, well, what's what do your what does your organization need? Does it need you know X, Y, and Z, or does it need this and this? Or does it need this and this? And I think be, because of the suite of relationships I have with people like you and, and coach them, you know, I'm able to go in and say, well, here's your best practices, and this is where I would go with the resources that you have, and then and I can help support you from from a remote situation or like I'm doing today. I'm I'm flown over here and I'm working directly, you know, with the clubs. And, you know, so it all, it really comes down to, you know, what kind of resources you have. And a lot of us, it's what kind of resources do you want? And, you know, and I try to, you know, one of the aspects that I think I've been most successful is, is that I've made all the mistakes for 35, 40 years of being a hockey director. You know, I've ordered the wrong uniforms multiple times or, you know, set up my practices where they weren't flowing and not efficient. So I'm able to give the, that expertise to organizations. Um, you know, my tagline and my philosophy with my program is, you know, building the best program the first time. And it's really just, you know, especially when you talk about how much it costs us to get on the ice with our kids and be and, and work with our athletes. I try to give the leaders of these programs and coaches the opportunity to be the most efficient and to not have to go through all the troubleshooting guidelines. Just I'm going to give this is the best program you can use. This is who I recommend. And I can guarantee you'll be happy with it because I, again, I've used all of them and I've whittled them down to the ones that are the best ones. Yeah. Well, obviously as always, uh, Benelli, thank you so much. You, you're, uh, amazing. Um, enjoy your, uh, 
your stay. I know your flight got delayed. Hopefully it doesn't get delayed anymore. And thank you so much, yeah. everybody, for joining us. Yeah. No, thanks, Mike. Thanks for having me again. Have a great night, guys.